News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. Currently, we've got the Dow trading down 465. The S&P is off 35. NASDAQ is off 14. Russell's down 2. Semis are up 7. Trannies are off 202. They are, no, it's the Dow that's the leader percentage-wise to the downside. Gold is uh, nearly back to flat. It's off 2 bucks. Silver's up 18 pennies. Light sweet crude is up uh, 39 uh, ticks out here. Let's go take a look at our daily time frame indice charts. Give me just a second to switch uh, screens out here for you. And we'll begin by taking a look at the Dow, I believe, which is in the upper left-hand corner. As soon as I can click on this one. There we go. Start sharing. Okay, so we've got the Dow in the upper left-hand corner. So what do you know? Let me just expand the chart out here. You've got a confirmed Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. Yesterday, you had the shooting star candle. That gave us a signal of a Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. Now we're down below the oscillator and change line at 34.616. This is suggesting that price should make its way towards the 33.526 level. That is a TD9 breakout. Not unless price closes below that, will there be anything wrong with the Dow? If we look at the S&P 500, yesterday it confirmed a Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. And it confirmed it because price also, not only was it a bearish reversal candle, bearish sash, price was also below that oscillator and change line. Its price target... 40.95.51. Let's go take a look at the NDX 100. The NDX 100, again, look at these charts here. The equity future contract charts look different than the cash indice charts. It's the reason why if you watch the Trader's Ed show, we use that because we have more data. More data provides us with better patterns. Nonetheless, this is going to become bar number eight of a TD9 count. And that is above TD9 breakout support, which is down at 12.798. Price can still make its way down there. Just recognize that bar eight bar nine or the bar following nine as long as those are the low of the pattern they are a valid pattern out here bar nine still has to complete but it looks like the ndx 100 will generate that pattern in the case of the russell 2000 uh there is an a to b equal cd to the downside i can't draw that in here but you have a hammer candle out here and that would confirm a gartley buy pattern or at least a buy the d point out here suggesting a run for the 2256 level of course this is only two o'clock and you need to know what that candle looks like at 4 p.m. The semis back above 29.58.80. That would suggest to you and I that price is going to make its way up to 30.97. Folks, stay tuned for David White Power Trading Hour. That's up next. Have a terrific Tuesday. We'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Take care and be safe.